You need a really sharp knife. Uh, I'm using a Stanley knife here. Now just beware because you have three internal insulators for the main current carrying cores. So score the outer insulator now about half a millimetre thick and then bend it quite vigorously. This will break the outer insulator. Leave about a gap then do another, do the exact same again. Until you've now got two splits in the outer sheath. Now mark a, a cut in the outer sheath just about half an inch long and just get it started to peel back as you can see here and once I've got it started peeling back just continue the, the cut now I'm not actually going right through I'm just uh, going maybe about half a millimetre again but stop short of the next cut that way you don't skid off and hit one of the inner insulators it should just now peel back um, very easily and that's it all you need to do is bear the three cores. You can't put a tongue test around three cores because the currents balance each other out um, into uh, basically and equates to zero. So you have to bear three cores and you can either put the tongue tester on the positive or a negative. It doesn't matter because the current is the same in both. Once you're happy with doing that, just go ahead and do it with your main computer power cable exactly the same process as you can see here I've done this with my computer cable already this is a tongue test that I bought on eBay uh, it cost me five pounds took about a month to arrive but it's a great wee tongue tester and the model number is an MT87 um, the digital scales are 20 amps which will give you two decimal places which is ideal uh, just Put it on one of the insulators, either the, the positive or the negative, or the live or the neutral. The display readout on the tongue tester is in amps. So whatever your amps is, you have to multiply that by your domestic voltage. I'm in the UK, so the domestic voltage here is uh, between 230 and 240 volts. So I have to multiply that reading, the 1.12, by 240 volts and that will give me the reading in watts. You can now take your system to as close to 100% as possible and this will give you an accurate reading for your power draw at the main socket. Then you can uh, look at different hardware and it will give you a better idea of what you can put in your system.